Hey guys, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and today we're back with the last episode of our How to Set Up a Faction Server series. Sorry for the delay with this tutorial, we've had a few issues with a couple of the plugins and we've been waiting for them to release an update so that we can solve the issues. So in this episode we're going to be solving a couple of issues, and we're also going to be adding some nice new features to the server to finish it off. We hope you've had a fantastic new year as well and a great Christmas, and we hope to be bringing out some fantastic videos throughout 2018. So, let's get straight into it. So the first thing that we need to address is an issue with the slash spawn command. So if I was to type slash spawn now, it won't work, and you can see nothing happens, and the server has actually crashed. So if I was to type another command for like slash help, and um, you can see that it's not working. And also, if we go to the console in the control panel, you can see that Essentials has outputted a huge error. So basically, the plugin Essentials has a bug with the slash spawn command where it no longer works. So to fix this, we need to switch to a version of Essentials which solves this issue. Now, unfortunately, that's not available in our plugins tab, so we have to install it manually. So if you go to the file manager, then the plugins folder, when we'll need to remove the current version of Essentials. So if you go ahead and select each of these .jar files and then click delete, and then click OK, and then go to this page, there'll be a link to it down in the description below, and we'll need to download it. So here we need to download each one of these .jar files manually onto our computer. So you can do that by clicking the name of the file. So if I click the top one here, you can see that it prompts me to save the file. So download this into your downloads directory and then click save, and you'll need to do this for each of the other .jar files. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm only going to be doing anti-build, chat and protect and spawn. We don't need GOIP and we don't need XMPP um, for this tutorial. So once you've got each of those downloaded, we need to upload them to the control panel. Now to do that, you'll need to go back to the file manager, then click upload file, choose files, and then select each of the .jars and go ahead and upload them. However, if you're on a Windows computer, you can actually compress all of these into one single file and upload them all at once. So you can do that by highlighting them all as I have done here, right click, click send to compressed zip folder, and that will create a new file here. Then if we go to upload file, choose files, and we select that .zip, click open, then upload from computer, and then once that's uploaded, look for it and then highlight it so it's highlighted in blue, and then click unzip, and you can see that it will unveil each of the .jars. If you're on a Mac or a different operating system, go ahead and upload them manually though if you don't know how to create a .zip. So once you've done that, delete the .zip if you use the .zip method, and then we'll need to go into the essentials folder and then delete the spawn.yml file. This just ensures that there are no problems occurring in the future. So once you've gone ahead and deleted that, click start and the server should start up without any issues at all. So as you can see, I've just joined my server and if I type slash spawn, it should work without any problems. So that's fantastic. So make sure you go ahead and test it on your server too. And if it's still crashing, make sure you contact our support and I'll be more than happy to help out with this issue. So now that we've gone ahead and fixed the essential spawn issue, there are a few other issues that you'll need to fix. I have already fixed these on this server, however, I'll quickly run through them. So in the file manager, if you go into the mstore folder, and then inside of the factions underscore mcot folder, then instance.json, and then if we look for the setting, chat set format, so you can do this by pressing control F on your Mac, and then paste in this setting, and then look for it, and it should say true for you. So set this to false, and then once you've set this to false, copy all of this information that is within these brackets here, and then click, right click and copy them. Then once you've done that, save the file, and then we're going to be going inside of the essentials config.yml file. So if you go to the home setting here, and then plugins, then essentials, and then config.yml, and then if you look for the area essentials chat with no space, and then use the arrows to scroll up and down. If you're on a Mac, by the way, the option to bring up this area up here is Command F. So just keep scrolling down until you come across this area. And we're looking for this setting here, which is format. So by default, it just displays this. And then we're just going to be copying all that information from the factions plugin. So click paste, and then once you've done that, make sure you click save. However, we have made some other changes in here. So if you scroll down, so if you scroll up, and then you can see here that I've changed the minimum money set into zero so that players can't have a negative balance. I've also changed the starting balance to 1000. If you keep scrolling up, 
I've changed the custom join message and quit join message so that it uses a nice plus and minus feature instead of the normal user has joined the game. And then if you keep scrolling up again, you can see that I've disabled the teleport in vulnerability setting from four to zero and we've added a teleport delay of three this allows players to when they type a spawn command or a tp command and um, they can't teleport to that location for three seconds and if they move the teleportation is cancelled this is great for pvp as it makes it a bit more balanced and fair and i've changed the teleport cooldown to five seconds and then I've also changed change display name to true and change playlist to true. I think these come with a hashtag at the front like this. So just remove the hashtag to enable them. And then I've also changed the nickname prefix. Usually it's set to the default little line like this. I've removed that line so it looks like the player's username without any modifications. So I will also include a copy of this entire config.yml down in the description below so that you can go ahead and copy it yourself rather than going through and manually changing each setting. So then once you've changed everything, click save and then take a quick look at the motd.txt file. So in here, it's got some words that are displayed when a player first joins the server or when they join consistently by default it's got some different color codes i think it uses the colors gold and red i've changed it to be and b which is an aqua color and i've left the red in as well so feel free to edit this message you could add a new line if you wanted to and you could remove lines you could have nothing just by deleting it all or you could just have welcome player just by doing that and um, edit it however you would like and then again once you've made any changes click save and then once you've made all the changes in essentials go back to the plugins folder by clicking plugins here and then go into the permissions X folder and then inside of permissions.yml. So what I've done in here, I've made a few changes. I've removed game mode from the VIP and mod. And then we also need to give the default group the permission dash essentials dot build so make sure you go ahead and do that otherwise the player won't be able to build in game so again i will copy this permissions file in the description below so you can go ahead and update yours so it looks similar to ours and then once you've done that again or once you've made any other changes at all click save as you as usual and then go back to the plugins folder then when we're back in the plugins folder go into world guard and then go into worlds and then go into the world where your spawn is. So if your spawn is in the world factions-world like mine, go into that and then go into the regions.yml file. And then in here, if you remember, we set up a spawn and war zone. And when we set up the war zone, we left a flag called invincible and we left it there as allow. So you want to remove that. So you can see here it's in the spawn region, which is where you want it to be. And you want to make sure that it's not in the war zone and just double check that you've got PVP as allow there as well. So again, once you've done that, just go ahead and click save. And then lastly, we're going to set an MOTD for the server. So if you go to the my server tab, and then scroll to the bottom, there is an MOTD section here. So as you can see, I've changed mine, but you can use this tool and there will be a link to it down in the description below. And basically the way it works, you enter the MOTD that you want here. So if I wanted this to say, join our server today and I wanted it to be in a dark green, I would set it to be dark green like that. And I could also have community in a blue and I would do that. And then once you've set all that up to be displayed the way you would like it, click the MOTD section here to highlight it all and then right click, click copy, and then go back here and then paste it by clicking paste and then that should work and make sure you remove anything that's in the MOTD previously then once you've made all the changes that you've made click save and restart and this should apply all the changes that we've made to world guard permissions x factions and essentials and it should display the MOTD so once you've done this you can go ahead and join the server to take a look so as you can see I'm just in my server list and as you can see the MOTD is working perfectly as it's displaying correctly so go ahead and join your server so once you join your server you should see straight away that the new join message is working I set it to a nice green plus and then you can see that the MOTD or the welcome message is now displaying however you liked it. By default, it would usually be in a gold color, but I've changed it to blue just to make it look a bit nicer. Now also, if we type in the chat, you should see that the chat formatting is now working. So as you can see, it displays the faction I'm in. If it doesn't display the faction, you need to make sure that you are in one or that you've created one, otherwise it won't display it. And you can see that's in the color green, which I believe means I'm in the faction or that I own it. However, the colors will change depending on the role that you're in, etc. And then you can see that it's now got the colon after Racer K12 and the message is in a light gray. Now you can configure the chat to be however you want. It doesn't have to be like this. Just go back into the essentials config.yml file and go back to the previous point in the video and edit it to your liking and use any color codes that you'd like to use. Now also if I use a nickname, for example, change Nick um, to let's say server pro, you can see that when I type in the chat, 
it doesn't have the little squiggly line that would usually be there. Now that's pretty much for all the changes that we made that you can view in game. I would also suggest testing the start balance by getting a new player to join and then having them type slash balance just to check that it has been applied properly. So this basically concludes our faction series. We've set up all the basic plugins that are needed for a good faction server. So you can go ahead and start changing your server a bit further if you want. There are some other plugins that I'd suggest. I would suggest using GUI Shop as this is a fantastic plugin that allows you to have a GUI for a shop. So you would type a command, I think it's something like slash shop, and it brings up a shop and it comes with pre-made configuration as well, which is fantastic and it saves a lot of time. We do have a tutorial on this on our channel and there will be a link to it down in the description below. And then also I recommend the plugin title manager. We have a tutorial for this too. And it basically allows you to add a nice scoreboard to the right hand side. And that allows you to have a nice tab list. And I believe you can add some things like prefixes, the world time and etc. And then lastly, I would recommend using the plugin holographic displays to add some nice things around the server spawn to have maybe announcements or um, welcoming messages as well. And again, we do also have a tutorial for this plugin too. So there will be a link to all of these plugins down in the description below. So go ahead and add them to your server if you'd like to, and make sure you watch these tutorials so that you can learn how to use them properly. Other than that, we do have a huge selection of other tutorials that you can go ahead and watch on our channel that can be very helpful. Another good plugin that you might want to add is Essentials Warp GUI, um, Time is Money. There are loads of plugins on here that we have covered, which may help you increase the enjoyment that players have on your server. So I hope that you've managed to build a great server and that you've gained a player base. We may do some follow-up videos for this, maybe how to get players on your server, um, how to set up donating on your server. However, these will be in the future. If you'd like to see some videos like that, make sure you comment down below. And also, I will actually include a download for the server that we've made here so that you can download it and upload it to your own server. So you can have a server that is identical to ours. So thank you for watching. Again, make sure you comment down below with any suggestions you'd like to see for future videos. I hope that you've had a fantastic time watching this series and I hope to see you in future ones. Goodbye and have a great day.